After starting the Illustrator software, we will begin with opening up a new file. On the left side, you will find your tools, of which I will now explain to you the graph tool. Hidden behind the graph tool button, you will find a selection of different kinds of graph tools like the column graph, the bar graph and so on. We will start with the pie graph tool. Once you've selected your type of graph, you can drag your cursor across the area where you want your graph to be placed. A table which looks like a tiny Excel table will pop up and here you can enter your data. When you click on the apply button, your pie will be subdivided according to the values that you've entered. When your graph is selected, this pop-up window will appear with a right click. Now you're able to select between type, data and design to modify your graph. If you click data, the table where you've entered your data will pop up and you can now change the numbers. With clicking the apply button, the new data will be applied to your graph. I will now show you how to change the type of your graph. With copy paste, I duplicate my pie chart and open up the pop-up window with a right click. If I choose type, I can change the look of my graph from a pie chart to a column graph or a bar graph for example. If you open up your data window from the pie chart, you can change to a bubble chart by transposing your data from a row to a column. If you're sure that you will not change the data or the type of your graph anymore, you can start with applying a design to make it look more descriptive and interesting. As long as your object is defined as a graph, you will not be able to select individual parts of your illustration. So what you have to do is ungroup your graph. If I ungroup the graph, this window will appear, giving me a warning that from now on, I will no longer be able to make changes in the style or the data of my graph. Therefore, I keep a copy of the original graph and only ungroup it afterwards. I ungroup the object again and now I can assess the individual elements of my graph with the selection tool.